All right, and we're here to talk about Camp U Peninsulin with the co-directors, Christy and Chris. Thanks so much for coming on this morning. Thanks You're for welcome. having us. Sure, so tell me a little bit about Camp U Peninsulin. Why was it founded and what's the name? What is it special for? Camp U Peninsulin is a type one diabetic kids camp in the UP, the only camp in the UP for diabetics. And since we're sprawled out, it's a great spot for diabetics to get together, get to know each other, learn that they're not alone in their diabetic journey. Mm -hmm. And why is it important for kids to go to this camp specifically? It's important because growing up with diabetes, I'm type one, you kind of feel alone. Mm -hmm. You don't have any support. Sometimes you feel you have to watch your high and low blood sugars and you feel like you can't do certain things. But when you get together and you meet other kids doing the same thing you can, you feel like you're not alone anymore and you can go out and do whatever you want in the world and have that camp experience without worrying because it's our job to worry for you while you're there having fun. Right, so these kids get to build a sense of community at Camp U Peninsula. So why is the outside community even important for the camp? Not more important, but just as important. So everybody's affected with diabetes mm -hmm. one way or another. There's someone knows a kid with diabetes. So to have that community involved and have those kids get involved, it's more of a I belong, I'm not alone. Right, and Christy, the community is super important to keep this camp running. So you guys offer a low cost camp, sometimes even free. I know last year the registration fee was $20. How is that possible? Um, we are completely funded through the community, through grants. Um, it costs about $15,000 to operate our camp mm -hmm. and we operate for about four to five days. So it's a it's pretty expensive endeavor for that. Um, we operate through grants through op organizations like the Superior Health Foundation, the Alger Regional Community Foundation, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, the Jared Medier Foundation, mm -hmm. which is out of a, um, an organization downstate. But short of that, we rely on donations through the community, through businesses, and then just donations from family. So without community support, we would not be able to operate. Right, so how can we help? Um, we have we have a GoFundMe on our camp website, which I believe will be shared. Mm -hmm. um, we, we can accept donations through, through things such as um, medical supplies, and you can get in touch with us to find out what type, type of things that we need, monetary donations, and then through time too, so we are always accepting volunteers as well. Right, so tell me a little bit about that volunteering process. What can people who sign up to volunteer at the camp expect to, to do here? Yeah, so it just kind of depends on what your interests are. So if you have medical experience, there are ways that we can fit you in through that. So whether that's helping in the nursing cabin, um, helping out also if you're a cook, we can help out with our camp cooks. Also, um, just helping out with the kids in general, so whether that's with activities mm -hmm. or just helping out monitoring the grounds as well. Right, so it kind of fits you wherever you would fit best in the camp. And Chris, I want to take it back a little bit to the camp itself. Have you seen any impacts of the camp on the community? Actually, I have. more Every year when we have camp, there are more and more people getting involved. We have a race with Queen City running, and they participate. I have kids reaching out to me and to our camp website, hey, how can I join? Even if you're not diabetic, I have kids that are interested or they know friends, hey, I want to learn. It's just, it's an awesome feeling to help these kids. I bet, and some of them may be a little bit shy to show up to this place for the very first time. What's a way to encourage them? We, get, we throw them in the activities. Yep. <laughs> they don't have a choice. It's that camp experience. And every year we have new campers, and every year by the end of the camp, they're like, I want to come back. And they start counting down the days. Oh, I bet. And what are some of the activities that they can look forward to? We do things like paint tag, where we throw paint at each other, <laughs> and swimming, s'mores, bonfire. Yep, you can have those s'mores even if you're diabetic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Water balloon toss all sorts of different activities that you would have at a normal camp. Wow, that sounds like so much fun. And where can people go to learn more information? We have a website, campupeninsulin.com, mm -hmm. and they just have to go to that website, and every information thing you need is right on that website. All right, and we'll have that running across the screen right now, campupeninsulin.com. And you guys also have an email, campupeninsulin at gmail.com, and they can just uh, ask any questions that they have, correct? 
Correct. We also have a Facebook page, so just Camp View Peninsula on Facebook. We have a Facebook group, too, where you can join, and there's a lot of pictures and that type of thing. All right, nice and easy. There's a lot of ways to get in contact with you guys and a lot of things to look forward to. So I want to thank you again for coming in this morning. Thank you for thank having you. us. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, of course, not okay. <laughs> of course, you guys. Uh, uh, Pavlina, it's back to you.